give them a call at 404-374-1150. Once again, that's 404-374-1150. You got to tell them, though, that I sent you. You got to tell them that Doug Stewart sent you. Once again, smoothtickets.com. That's smoothtickets.com. Yeah! National Debt Relief is one of the country's largest and most reputable debt settlement companies. Made up of energetic individuals who are passionate about helping thousands of Americans with debt relief. Most importantly, we're all about helping our customers through a tough financial time in their lives with education and individual customer service. We're dedicated to helping individuals and families rid their lives of burdensome debt. Specializing in debt settlement, and they've also negotiated settlements for thousands of creditor and collection accounts. Providing clients with both expertise and proven results, this means helping customers in time of hardship to get out of debt with the least possible cost. It can also mean conducting financial consultations, educating the customer, and recommending the appropriate solution. Core services offer debt settlement as an alternative, I repeat, alternative to bankruptcy, credit counseling, and debt consolidation. National Debt Relief is your number one advocate group to help you reestablish financial stability as quickly as possible. So give us a call at 844-828-4975. Again, that's 844-828-4975 and work it out. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. It is a Woman Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining your boy. We're brought to you by Firefan.com. Firefan.com is here. Um, as a matter of fact, tomorrow I'm going to announce when the app is set to come out. That's right. We're at that point. Yeah. We're at that point where we actually have a, uh, a launch date for the app. But listen, you need to pre-register to be a part of my league. Go to firefan.com, use promo code TDSS on the very first page, all right? Uh, as soon as you log into firefan.com on the very first page, there's a place where they're asking you for the promo code. Make sure you use TDSS, that's the acronym for the Doug Stewart Show, so that you are a part of the Doug Stewart Show League. This Firefan thing is going to be crazy. Once again, go to firefan.com and uh, pre-register for my league using the promo code TDSS, all right? 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the DougStewartShow.com. So we're also talking about the top five sports movies, kind of paying homage to the great Ray Allen, who announced his retirement on yesterday. 18 years in the league. Whenever I hear about a cat like Ray Allen, you know, retiring and hearing how long he's played in the NBA, it really just, you know, makes me feel old because I remember clearly when Ray Allen played at UConn. I remember clearly when he got into the NBA um, and 18 years later, and he missed a couple of years. Um, he hadn't played since like 2014, but he just had never uh, announced his retirement. But damn, doesn't it make you feel old to think that Ray Allen played 18 years in the NBA? I mean, if you're my, my peers, um, 18 years and he's retiring now. Ray Allen is is pretty much an old man. <laughs> wow. So, nevertheless, we're paying tribute to him today. He had the, the movie, the classic movie. He got game with him and Denzel back in the day. So, we're kind of, uh, you know, having some fun with that, giving you the top five sports movies of all time. I already told you he got game, Ray Allen's movie. I had it number three. Coming in at number five on my list is White Men Can't Jump. Yeah. Real fun movie. Woody Harrelson and Wesley Snipes. Uh, real fun movie. From, that, from what I remember, and I haven't seen it in a long time, from what I remember, Wesley Snipes got mad game. I think, even though they're actors, I think they did a pretty good job of uh, portraying basketball players. Like, they didn't look like they absolutely suck. Like, a lot of, you know, actors they try to put in these movies talking about sports or whatever. Like, Wesley Snipes looked like he could play some ball a little bit. Woody Harrelson to a, a lesser degree as well. Thus, white man can't jump. <laughs> 
But a fun movie, man. That comes in at number five on my list of top five sports movies of all times. Shorty. Um, so yesterday, man, in the college football playoff poll, the first playoff poll of the season, uh, Bama, Clemson, and Michigan are your one, twos, and threes. And coming in at number four, the last spot if the playoffs were to start right now, would be the Texas A&M Aggies. <laughs> right. Yeah, Alabama, Clemson, and Michigan are the top three teams in the first college football playoff. But it's that four spot that everybody's talking about, man. Um, as Texas A&M edges out Washington, who is undefeated right now from the Pac-12. One lost, one lost Texas A&M is fourth, followed by undefeated Washington. The top four teams at the end of the season will advance to the semifinals, which this year is set for the Fiesta and Chick-fil-A Bowls on December 31st. The Aggies lost to Alabama 33-14, to so they're actually kind of getting credit for a good loss. You know, they were on the road at Alabama and lost 33-14. to Alabama has pretty much been walking over everybody in the country, so they've got one loss. They didn't embarrassed themselves when they went to Alabama and lost on the road. Um, the Huskies are 8-0, though. After that weekend's 31-24 win uh, this past weekend over Utah, the team's second win this season over a ranked opponent. So uh, Washington is Washington. They haven't really been relevant for a long, long time. They pay in the, play in the Pac-12. Uh, their top wins are over teams that most people consider suspect. Stanford is probably one of their bigger wins as well as they go on the road and beat Utah. Utah was a good win to me. They go on the road and beat Utah. But still, at this point in the season, the pollsters think that Texas A&M has a better resume. Would Texas A&M do? They went on the road and they beat Auburn. They beat Arkansas. They beat SEC teams. Pretty much that's it. But if Washington continues to win out, which they should, they don't have to play a a conference championship as well, um, Washington's going to be in that fourth spot. I mean, pretty much if everybody wins out and things stay as they are, Washington's going to probably at some point jump, okay, uh, Texas A&M. At this point in the season, Texas A&M has a stronger schedule, um, and they get the nod right now. It's very early in this thing. Ohio State is at six, followed by Louisville, Wisconsin, Auburn, and Nebraska. Then there's Florida, 6-1 and one Florida, Penn State, who's been playing good over the last couple of uh, weeks as well. Uh, LSU, Oklahoma, and Colorado, um, followed by Utah, Baylor, Oklahoma State, Virginia Tech, and West Virginia. So there you have it, your uh, your first poll, your first college football playoff rankings. And uh, you've got Alabama, Clemson, um, Texas A&M, uh, and Michigan in your top four. What are your thoughts about that, man? 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at thedougstrewshow.com. Let me read a couple of your messages here in the chat room on Spreaker.com. Let me read a couple of your messages. Good Lord, look at these avatars. Oh, my Lord. All right, so if you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, I asked that the, the people in the chat room, the Stewies, that they change their avatars to a beautiful woman paying homage to women. That's all we doing. Shut up. Get me a new studio audience in a minute. So the Stewies in the chat room, man, they've changed their avatars to some beautiful women. Um, Shouts out to my man Griff. Shouts out to Andre Elam. Do me a favor, though, man. These avatars are kind of small. Can you email your boy the big picture of the avatars? Good Lord. Then we got some of the, the, the women stewies, the stewettes as I call them in the chat room, like Denise Milk and Cookies and Mocha Bella. They put up their pictures as their own avatar. Praise his holy name. Thank y'all, ladies. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, damn. Hey, Griff, bruh, make sure you email me that avatar, Andre Elam 2. Let me just skim through the sluggo. Ooh, wee, yeah. Just shoot. Now, listen, I'm no perv or nothing like this. This is all for research purposes. Shut up! Damn. Good Lord. Good Lord. Mm. Mm. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, yeah, ladies, I'm going to sing for y'all later today, too. Let me remind y'all. Oh, boy. Woo. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Uh, from uh, who am I in here? Grego. Grego in the chat room on Spreaker.com. Agreed, followed by Colombian and or Costa Rican. Oh, they talking about exotic women in the chat room. From one chance, email Doug the pictures for research purposes only. That's right. From Miss Mocha, Lady in Red Bella. I see you, Mocha. Go ahead with your bad self. Shouts out to Mocha Bella with her, her own damn avatar of her. From Miss Mocha, Lady in Red Bella. Here we go with this emailing by Doug. He can't see. I can't. I actually have glasses. I do have uh, prescription glasses, man, but I, I rarely wear them because uh, I just don't want to get tied up in all of that. I feel like if I keep wearing them damn glasses, then my, my eyes going to get weaker. And so by not wearing them, I'm making my eyes stronger. But I can't see real good. I catch myself squinting, man, uh, from Willie D in the chat room on Spreaker.com. Research purposes only. I'm working on a new lubricant. Doug Stewart, you perv. <laughs> Willie D, you freaking perv. <laughs> from Coop, Dell is line stepping with his avatar. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm seeing Dell. I'm looking at Dell's avatar right now. Um, it's borderline, man, but it's okay. It's good. It's good. You good, Dell. Classy nudity. <laughs> All right, so if you're new to the show, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, if you're new to the show, a couple of weeks ago we had this little incident with, with Vern from Jersey, um, one of the most aggravating people that I know and walk in the face of the earth. He's a good guy, but he's just aggravating as hell. So a couple of weeks ago, Vern from Jersey, and he too old for this ish. He changed his avatar to some porn. We don't get down like that around here. If you go post an avatar, keep it kind of classy. Like Dell, his avatar is kind of straddling the fence, but it's okay. It's art. That's what we call art. But don't be no perv like Vern from Jersey. We had to suspend Vern's ass. We had to suspend him for a day or two or something like that, man. He's a line stepper. So don't do that. Keep the avatars kind of classy, man. We're running a business around here. All right, when we get back from the break, man, I think we get back, I will sing for you. Or we'll play one of my classic hits from yesteryear. Ladies, you're welcome. And then we'll also get back into some of this chat, man. That's what I'll do. I'll read chat all in the next segment, man, and get your thoughts on what's going on in the world of sports, entertainment, and beyond. The realest, trillest guy talk show in America, The Doug Stewart Show. Don't go away. Back in three minutes. I'm going to be singing when we get back. Don't go away now. What is ID Life? Well, over the last 18 years, a group of scientists and doctors have been working on the development of a one-of-a-kind nutritional supplement program that takes all the guesswork out of what you need and delivers your truly personalized pharmaceutical-grade nutrition with your name on it directly to your door. Through the integration of thousands of medical and scientific studies, answers you provide to the free assessment and more than 5,470 algorithms that process the data ID Nutrition recommends what you need, leaves out what you don't, and blocks things known to the system that have possible adverse effects based on the answers you provide. The result is a program that is revolutionizing the health and wellness industry. Welcome to ID Life. For more information, just go to thedougstewartshow.idlife.com. That's thedougstewartshow.idlife.com. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? 